Good morning from every side of the world you are. Welcome to Advanced National Share. Today we are here to listen to our Miss Kavya interesting session about seven wonders of architecture. Now I want to uh, hand over the platform to Maithili, our prime mover, to share something about Kavya. Thank you for introducing me, Neha Didi. If somebody doesn't know my name, my name is Matli Jha. I would like to talk a little about myself. I'm in second grade. I go to dancing classes. I also learn drawing and cursive handwriting. I also learn dynamic music. Now I want to introduce a smarty who is bubbly, cute, and funny. Her name is Kavya Dhavle. She is from Zambia. She loves to draw, sing, and dance. She plays Roblox and Minecraft. She is awarded with seven silver medals in 2023 Scholars Cup. She has achieved two diplomas from DELF, which is a French exam. So, Kavya Didi, you can take over. Thank you, Maitri, for those wonderful words. I really enjoyed it. You're so cute. Thank you, Kavya Didi. Before I start, let me take a moment to thank and greet the lovely audience for attending today's session and spending their precious time for hearing me out. I wish all the best to my fellow panelists. Beauty perishes in life, but it is immortal in art. Leonardo da Vinci. My name is Kavya Davle and I'm a Smarty from Zambia. Today, I will be sharing and discussing about one of my most fond interests with you all. That is architecture. Specifically, we will be talking about the seven wonders of the architectural world. I have a few follow-up questions just to get a head start on today's session. Can anyone briefly explain what is architecture? It's construction of buildings. Yes. And design. Yes, wonderful. Architecture is the art of designing and constructing things. Here's a follow-up question. Would anyone like to tell me what is their favorite architectural structure? Taj Mahal. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Nice. Okay, wow. All of you have really, um, all of you have favorite structures, isn't it? Okay, moving on. As I said, we will be talking about the seven wonders of the architectural world. Let's get started with one of the most marvelous structures in my own country. The Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is truly a wonder. Being 240 feet tall and made of stunning white marble. Here's an interesting question. And this one is optional. When did the Taj Mahal begin and end its construction? Does anyone know? Yes, Arzin? 1631. Yes, and do you know when um, the Taj Mahal was fully built? Yes, 48, 1648. Wonderful. Okay. All right. With, uh, without any further ado, let's jump right into the history of the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal was built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan as a memorial for his deceased wife, Mumtaz. 
Its name is believed to have been derived from Persian. The word Taj means crown and the word Mahal means palace. This would translate to the palace of the crown. The Taj Mahal was built in the bustling and imperial city of Agra, where there were already exquisite residences, gardens, and mausoleums dotting the beautiful Yamuna riverfront. But when it would be complete, the Taj Mahal would be the most beautiful structure of all. It would not only house Mumtaz's mausoleum, but also a garden, a bazaar, and a caravan service to house visiting merchants and diplomats. Amazing, right? Together, this complex would blend Indian, Persian, Islamic, and European styles, displaying the Taj Mahal as the culmination of Mughal architectural achievement. To further establish an atmosphere of peace, the architects divided the complex into two spheres, representing the spiritual and earthly domains. Most of the structures in the earthly domain were made of brick and red sandstone with only white marble accents. This was a common motif in Mughal architecture inspired by ancient Indian traditions associating the color white with spiritual purity and the color red with warriors and royalty. But the central mausoleum, which was located in the spiritual domain, was covered entirely in white marble from quarries over 400 kilometers away. It was also framed by four minaret towers. Here's a fun fact. Because the dome of the Taj Mahal was so tall and hollow, those inside it would experience an otherworldly echo which would last about 30 seconds. Moving on, perfecting the Italian stoneworking technique Pietra Dura, craftsmen use all manner of semi-precious gemstones to create intricate and delicate floral designs on the surface of the Taj Mahal. This gave off a wonderful finish to the building. All right, let's move on to the next architectural wonder, a glimpse of the future, a great creation located in the Emirates, Dubai, to be specific, not the Burj Khalifa, but the Museum of the Future. The Museum of the Future is considered to be the most beautiful building in the world. With its oval shape, it took six years and billions of dollars to build. This structure displays a human eye looking at the future. Here's a crucial question. When was the Museum of the Future launched? The Museum of the Future was launched on 22nd February in the year of 2022. All right, we know that the wonderful exterior of this structure shines thanks to its artistic use of Arabic calligraphy, which also functions as glass windows. These are based on strong metal panels. Talk about beauty and function, right? On the exterior, the calligraphy displays three quotes which are inspired by the poetry of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin, bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and the Prime Minister of the UAE and the ruler of Dubai. One of the quotes are, The future belongs to those who can imagine it, design it, and execute it. It is not something you await, but rather create. So true. The Museum of the Future is also known as a gateway to the world 50 years from now. And the landmark development contributes to a better humanity and stronger global economy by demonstrating how next generation solutions such as AI can enhance our lives. The main museum experience is split into five diverse parts. The first experience is called OSS Hope. In this room, you can experience life on a space station, exactly 600 kilometers away from Earth. The second experience is called the Heal Institute. In this room, 
It gives you an augmented and virtual reality view of Dubai and the world in 2071. The third experience is called Al Waha. This room is also called the Oasis, and it offers soothing experiences and a sensory room. The fourth experience is called Tomorrow Today. In this room, you can learn and view about the futuristic technologies that already exist today. The fifth and final experience is called Future Heroes. This experience is designed specifically for 3 to 10 year old children. And it's an interactive play space designed to inspire children through missions and games. Okay, that sure was an amazing time travel destination to the future. But now let's take yet another blast to the past by visiting a sky high structure in Asia, specifically in China. This structure is named the Great Wall of China. This great structure was built over several centuries while various Chinese dynasties were ruling. This means that it was not built at once, but shortly and shortly over uh, various rulers were ruling. The most famous part of this structure was built during the Ming Dynasty, that is, from 1368 to 1644. Its main purpose was to protect China from invasions and raids from, from nomadic tribes from the north, such as the Mongols. The wall stretches over 13,170 miles, making it one of the longest man-made structures ever built. The Great Wall was obviously constructed using a variety of materials, such as stone, brick, tamped earth, and wood. The height and thickness vary as it crosses the terrain with watchtowers strategically and carefully placed along its length for signaling and defense. The Great Wall attracts billions of visitors each year. Visitors can explore various sections of the wall, hike along its rugged terrain, and learn about its history at museums or visitor centers. It also faces tons of preservation challenges almost every day from natural erosion, human activities, and lack of maintenance. Don't worry, efforts are taken almost every day to preserve and protect this ancient monument for future generations to view. Wow, now that we have taken a visit to Asia and seen one of the most long and famous structures in the world, Let's go and visit the country of kangaroos and koalas, specifically Australia. Let's go and visit the Sydney Opera House. The Sydney Opera House is located specifically on Medalong Point in Sydney Harbour, Australia. The chosen location provides an amazing view of the structure and the harbour bridge. Designed by Danish architect Jord Utzon, the structure is world-renowned for its distinctive sail-like roof structure. The building's design was inspired by the sails of a yacht and features a series of interlocking concrete shells. Creative, am I right? Construction of this wonderful structure began in 1959 and ended in 1973. Because of the many challenges during construction, including massive budget overruns. Despite that, we know the Sydney Opera House as an iconic symbol of creation for the performing arts and architecture. The Sydney Opera House is also a multi arts performing center that hosts a wide range of cultural events, including opera, ballet, theater, music, concerts, and film screening. Talk about multifunctional. It is also home to several companies, such as the Sydney Symphony Orchestra, the Opera Australia, and the Australian Ballet. It is also known as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Amazing! The Sydney Opera House offers 
guided tours for visitors to explore its interior spaces, including the concert hall, the opera theater, the drama theater, and the Joan Sutherland Theater. The specific location also makes it popular for photography and sightseeing. Very convenient in my opinion. All right, now that we have taken a visit to an iconic symbol of architecture and the performing arts, let's take a nice visit to the city of Paris in France. And let's take a look at a wonderful structure, the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is situated on the Champ de Mars, near the Seine River in Paris. It is centrally located and is easily accessible from various parts of the city. Designed by Gustave Eiffel, whom the tower is named after, it was built as the entrance arc for 1889's World Fair, held in Paris, to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. Construction began in 1887 and concluded shortly after two years in 1889. At the time, the Eiffel Tower stood as the highest man-made structure in the world, with a height of 324 meters including its antennas. The Eiffel Tower is made of wrought iron and it consists of three specific levels, each accessible by either stairs or elevators. Its design is characterized by a lattice framework structure which gives it a distinct appearance. It became a symbol of Paris and, most importantly, French cultural heritage. Originally intended to be only a temporary structure, it became permanently because of its popularity and today serves multifunctionally. The first level has restaurants, shops, and exhibition spaces. The second level features observation decks, decks and the third level featuring observation decks viewing, uh, featuring panoramic views of Paris. The tower is one of the most visited places in the world, attracting millions of visitors each year. Tourists can peacefully ascend the tower to enjoy breathtaking views of the city, dine in one of its fabulous and luxurious restaurants, and learn about its history and construction at the on-site exhibits. Okay, now that we have taken a nice trip to the city of baguettes and croissants, let's move to a city built in a mountain in Jordan, Petra. Petra is an ancient city located in present-day Jordan, renowned for its magnificent rock-cut architecture and historical significance. The city was established by the Nabataeans, an ancient Arab civilization, possibly as early as the 4th century BCE. Petra's most famous structures are carved directly into the rose-colored sandstone cliffs, creating an amazing landscape of temples, tombs, and dwellings. The most iconic monument is named al Khazne, also known as the Treasury, a grand temple facade carved into the rock face. The city's prosperity was based primarily on its role for trading in spices, incense, silk, and etc. But its unfortunate decline began after the shift of trade routes. The city was abandoned and forgotten until it was rediscovered by the Western world in the early 19th century. Fortunately, it was also established as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1985 due to its significance in history and archaeology. The city still stands as an iconic symbol of the past, 
displaying a true creation of architecture and art in human history. All right, let's move on to a more modern structure and unfortunately our last structure, the Empire State Building. The Empire State Building is an awesome skyscraper located in the marvelous city of New York. It is also specifically located in Midtown Manhattan. The construction of this marvelous structure began in 1930 and ended shortly after one year in 1931. Magnificent for only one year of construction, I say. It was designed by the architectural company Shrev, Lab, and Harmon Associates. When it was completed, the Empire State Building stood as the tallest building of the world, standing at 1,454 feet, including its antennas. It has two observation decks, one on the 86th floor and another, another on the 102nd yeah. floor offer an amazing view of New York City and are very popular tourist attractions. The Empire State Building is an icon and an important symbol of New York City and is associated with the amazing skyline of the wonderful city. It symbolizes creation and architecture throughout. To end my speech, I have a quote of mine. Be brave with your own imagination, creation, and design. Then only will you be brave to do what you can. All right. I would like to sincerely thank all for spending their valuable time and hearing me out. Thank you immensely. And I had the stage over to our lovely host, Meha. To be very honest, from my side, you did a great job. I mean, in that age, I would do nothing but sit and eat. So yeah, so now I want to call out our reviewer, Miss Yakshita. Thank you, Miha, and I'm Yakshita from Smarties, Australia uh, Liberty Global Foundation. Today, I'm here to act up as the reviewer of this session. Uh, Kavya, I first congratulate to you to give the introduction of seven architectural designs in our world. The first. Uh, monument or the architectural introduction is Taj Mahal. You give very good introduction about Taj Mahal and also you also describe who built it and in the which year and also the, you explain the surroundings of Taj Mahal. And also you made your speech very live by asking questions. And then the museum of future. And you also said that it has very good sightseeing and also it uh, has five experiences like the Heal Institute, the Oasis, Tomorrow Today, Future Heroes, etc. And it was very interesting. And the third thing the, which you give, which you introduce to us is the Great Wall of China. And you also said why it is built and also the, you also explain the distance and also what it is made up of and how it is affected. But also, at the same way, you also said how it is, uh, what are the protective measures they are taking to protect that. And also the semi-opera house and also its specialities. And also said that it is recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Site. And the fifth one, which is located in the Paris, it's the Eiffel Tower. And you also gave the height of the Eiffel Tower. And it, it also acted as the entrance arc for the 100th anniversary of French Revolution. You also explained about the height, how much time it took to build and the appearance. And also it reminded us the French cultural heritage. And then also you said how the way we can enjoy by uh, visiting all the places there, like the restaurants, etc. And then you gave the introduction about Petra, you also gave about the introduction by whom it was uh, constructed and when, the color and what it is made up of. And also it, it is actually uh, rediscovered by a Western country in 
after some five seconds and also it was uh, declared as the unesco world heritage site at the year 1985 and the last but not the least structure is the empire state building uh, you also gave the uh, location and also where when it is built and the architectural companies which are combined to build it and you also highlighted that the building is the tallest building in the world and it is a great tourist attracted place and at the last you also gave which left a strong impression on the members of this meeting thank shreevri to give me this wonderful opportunity and also i'm very inspired by you kavya thank you okay a great review by yakshita i loved it a great session a great review a great prime mover overall this session was so wholesome 